Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, I will discuss and analyze one article from the mass media. And uh, this article, uh, it's very revealing. So um, I'm just going to uh, express a few thoughts. Uh, related to the subject and the title and the con content of this article. So this article came in the USA Today, yesterday, February 24th, 2022. And it um, was written by Edward Sagara. And this is the title. I'm quoting, I am outraged, close quote, Jamie Lee Curtis, more stars reacts, react to Texas governor's, and I'm quoting, horrific trans youth order. Okay, so it was uh, in Texas, it's an order that in school, it's, I think in the primary classes in a, a primary school, one, uh, you can talk about gays and don't talk about transgenders and don't talk about this kind of stuff. Now, obviously, I don't like limitations in a way of, uh, in a, you know, freedom of speech limited or uh, I like to be as free as possible. The problem is that you have uh, a child and the child, his brain his uh, his persona is in you know it, de it develops so it's like a sponge that gets all the information and uh, will become an adult uh, based on the information that child learned or was exposed to experiences that it was exposed to um, the child brain the child's brain understanding are very limited and understanding and knowledge obviously and then they are used to being uh, you no know, um, listening to the authority figure which is a parent a bigger brother a teacher an adult in general so when you are in the first fourth first fourth fifth seventh and so on grade you you're very naive, obviously, you don't know anything about people, about life, and so on. So you would think that you have a, a worldview very naive, where, you know, you might not know that everybody lies, you might not know that there are bad people, but they're really bad, doing bad stuff, you know, intentionally, or stuff like this. So when you have a, a authority figure, like a teacher, that tells you something in the classroom, you do not question the, the uh, you know, the, the truth behind what the teacher uh, claims. And then it might take tens of years after that to realize that the teacher was just uh, providing you an, uh, an opinion, providing it was just uh, changing your way of seeing things uh, according to his or hers worldview. So in this case, with the children, they talk about the trans trans. Uh, you see, they 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 um, these people um, trained us to use their words. They created words that were put over there, and we are supposed to abide by their rules so for instance if i say let's say uh you know i'm say about something uh that person is a homosexual uh a lot of people might find that offensive which actually homosexually that's the definition that's the term if you don't use uh, for instance the word gay so they want you to use their vocabulary of the same even if you don't use it in a derogatory uh, uh, you know, 
manner. You just point out the definition and say that you know there was a my neighbors are you know are homosexuals or something. Some people get offended and they uh, they um, demand that you should use other words, the words they would use. And we, because we are, I don't know, good people, they we oblige. You say, okay, we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. But not doing, but by doing that, you actually do subscribe to their definition of the world. Not they; they don't subscribe to yours. And since when they have a higher moral value than you, you immediately gave them the authority to educate you in the new double speak or new speak. So I, when they say, you know, transgenders, some people say, for instance, uh, transvestite. Well, no, you can't say that. Okay, you don't want to hurt people, you know, but there are certain things where reality is as it is and you're asked to alter your reality for some people's insecurities and political views and social views. Now, that is evil. Don't fall for that. So here we're talk, told about the trans communities' rights, talking about the trans youth. They want to have a child, which is defined here in the United States, someone who is uh, younger than 18 years of age. So if you're 17, uh, 11 months and whatever days, you're still a child. So they want you to, uh, to you know, from the very beginning, they have rights as transgender youth, which means they want you to accept that they can have their own decision in, for instance, uh, changing their um, um, sex or, you know, demanding certain, uh, you know, treatment, special treatment and, you know, like going to a different bathroom, uh, you not noticing they're dressed differently, being a boy, stating that he identifies as a she now and wears women's clothes and so on. You, you're not supposed to find that weird because if you do, then you're the bad guy. So you have to alter your perception, your your values. There's not, nothing wrong with them for their value. And if you don't do that, you are not tolerant. But who's the less tolerant here when you want to impose something on me? When I ask you, why don't you accept my value? You're very intolerant for not accepting my value. So it's always my value against yours. So why should I be tolerant and not you? Because you think you have moral superiority. And your values are better than mine. Well, they're not. Sometimes that might be. So, child abuse. They say it's child abuse if you don't allow a child to, you know, allow the child to 12 years old, wants to change his sex. The parents should not have anything to do about it and have no decision. There are people try to do this in certain states. Well, if it goes like that, or in this case, do not talk about sexual orientation in the primary classes, first one to fourth, I think. And these guys are all, that's uh, horrific. Horrific because why? Then we should just, in order to educate the second grader in sexual copulation, we're going to put some porn for them. I mean, that's the next step, I guess. Or uh, not porn, heterosexual porn. Why don't we put bestiality? Educating children. Why don't we put homosexual sex? Why don't we put, for instance, uh, incestual sex? Heterosexual, incestual, incestual sex. I don't know, a mom and a son. Or let's say a mom and a daughter. I mean, if everything, and if you don't agree with that, that ed sexual education, then you are very intolerant very intolerant and I'm the tolerant one so there should be put some limits because of the child's lack of development that's that's one thing there's there are reasons why we still don't allow children to have sex or we made it illegal 
if they're underage and they're children and so on. I'm not talking about the age of consent and so on. We still say that is wrong and so on because the child, if you're 13 and you have sex and you have a child at 13 or 14, you're incapable of raising that child. You don't even know what is to be a child yourself and you're a mom all of a sudden or a dad. So there, there are consequences. Consequences you know, come after you make decisions. So the same thing, a person 12, 10, decides that, let's say, I'm not a boy anymore, I'm a girl. I feel like that. Okay, so then if I decide at 12, 10, say 10, to change my sex, the parents, the adults, the parents, the caretakers who are responsible for you, actually in front of the law, they are responsible. So if you do something stupid somewhere, you get in trouble, the parent. Not the child necessary, because the child, they say, oh, it's just a child. But here the child has the power the authority to say, I want to change my sex. It's something irreversible. Change your sex, irreversible. Not only as a body, mentally. It is. So then how would you allow a child to be able to make a decision at 7, at 5, at 9, at 12, at 13, but you don't let them have sex? Or why don't you let them, I don't know, strangle animals? Because they're, they're kids, they don't know better. Or maybe they do. Why don't, they, why don't we let them vote in the elections? Or you know, carry guns, handguns, or smoke, or drink. Why don't we let them do that? I think, so if we judge by this kind of you know, uh, mentality of allowing the child his rights as a trans youth, then the youth should have rights equal with the adults and have sex with multiple partners in the same time if they want. And we're gonna push it differently. What's the problem of, for instance, incest? Two adults consent, consenting to have sex. Why, what's wrong with that, for instance, as a societal? Yeah, there are many things, but on the other hand, you allow children to do this? Or what? I mean, we should be consistent, don't you think? I think is child abuse allowing a child to mutilate his sexual organs to pretend that he is all, all, all of a sudden, if he cuts off his organs, he's a, a different sex. Uh, then we're going to be agreeing with sexual mutilation, like it's in Africa and other countries, right? The female sexual mutilation. And besides, think about this. If that is sexual mutilation for females, uh, why is circumcision not considered sexual mutilation? Because it's against the child's rights. Don't, sh don't give me that thing with it's, uh, it's clean or it's better or... No, the studies say, even if the studies say, shouldn't the child, the individual, the person have a say? Why don't you let him decide that when he's at least, I don't know, 18, 19? You do it when he's what? one day old, then what's with the sexual mutilation for, for, for girls, for sexual you know, gratification for men or in, inhibit sexual uh, pleasure without asking the kids or pff, no, just doing it. So be some consistent. Don't give me the religious stuff about uh, uh, circumcision, okay? Even that in the religion terms, uh, I would think is kind of unacceptable in a civilized society. Let them decide for themselves. Otherwise, if you have a religion who says that, you know, we have, like the minors should, like your 10 years old should be sexually abused by an adult and get married, would you allow that? It's their religion. It's their religion. Or an adult have uh, 20 children as wives, would that be okay? That's their religion. So a little bit of consistency. So this thing with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, who I never liked, by the way, and it's the father that she became an actor. Uh, she's uh, appalled. She's upset. She's angry. Stay smart, strong, look for the truth, and do justice. We need that. <laughs> See you next time.